Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. Today is going to be another scripting video, but it's going to be fairly short and it's based around how to restrict certain items from being placed inside of a container. So let's open up the Creation Kit and get started. Okay, so now that we're in the Creation Kit, the first thing I want to do for this is obviously create a container. So I'm going to go under World Objects, Container, select one of these, preferably a chest. Double click on that, give it a unique ID. So I'm just going to call it restrict. Then I'm going to create new form. I am going to confirm it first, otherwise it doesn't remember the script and the properties sometimes. So it, you'll open it back up later on and it's forgotten it. So just make sure the ID is confirmed. Then I'm going to add my script. If you get any errors, just click yes to all. I've already typed my script up, so I'm going to search for it, and it's df127 script restrict. Now I'm just going to open the source, and I'll try and explain what this does. So it's going to work off a if statement, a selection of if statements, and all it's going to do is check a number of keywords. So you can see here I've just created the properties, uh, keyword properties for accepted item 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you need to, you can add more if you need to add more than 5 keywords. So it's pretty simple. And of course you have to add them in the else ifs as well. So if it's item 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's got any of those keywords, it'll let the item through and it won't send it back to the player. Uh, the other thing is to have a form list, so you, if you also want a very specific collection of items that can be accepted by the container, then what I'll do very shortly is make a little form list, put a few items in there, and then we'll see that working when we go in game. And if it doesn't meet any of those requirements, if it doesn't have the keywords, doesn't have any of the items in the form list, it will basically just remove the item from the container and place it back at the player, or whatever the source container is here. So AK base item, the item or items being added that need to go back. Uh, the amount of items being added will have to go back. So the good thing here is say that this only accepts weaponry, which is one of the restrictions I'm going to set. If you were to place a thousand gold in, it makes sure a thousand gold goes back to the player. True, it makes sure it's not going to give a notification for every single item being taken back, given back to the player. So it's not going to say this, added, 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 added. It's not going to flood the notifications. And yes, source container. Is it the player? Is it uh, somebody else, an NPC? Or whatever it might be. That's where it goes back to. And then debug message box, restrict message. So I've set this as a string as I have in some of my other scripting videos where you can just put that in the properties exactly what you want it to say if the message needs to come up and tell you that the wrong item's added. So I'll just put something like invalid item. And yeah, it's really quite simple. Now, some of you might think, well, why don't I use something similar instead of if statements use the kind of formless to formless method? Well, it's just a bit weird how papyrus functions work with keywords and I couldn't get it to work. And this is pretty performance friendly anyway. It shouldn't be a problem. So uh, if statements should be fine. And of course, the event is just on item added. Now, what I'm going to do first before I go filling in properties is create a form list so I'll call that restrict then I'm going to drag a few items I know my test character will have so I'm going to go with two steel helmets drag them in there click OK and of course you can put however many items you want so any items in that form list it knows are allowed in the container now I'm just going to fill in the properties. There's nothing to autofill this time. And you can actually have as many keywords as you want. So if you don't want to use up all five, that's absolutely fine. If you only want one or two keywords, then you just state them uh, going downwards. And the best keywords to use are vendor item. Now, if you're wondering if this is going to work with modded items, so items from other people's mods, it really comes down to if they've added the correct keywords onto their items. So if someone's added a new book to the game but they haven't put the vendor item book keyword in then unfortunately it's probably going to throw that right back at you. So it's really dependent on how good the modder is with their custom items. 
Now, like I said, one of my restrictions is going to be weaponry. So I've got vendor item weapons. You don't have to use vendor item, as you can see, you can use any keyword in the game. But vendor item is the most common. And the other thing is going to be potions. And I'm not going to use those three keywords, but I could if I wanted. And then I'm just going to add in my form list. As you can see there, DF127FL restrict. Then my message is going to be, as I said, invalid item. Click OK and click OK. And of course, you can use this script on every container that's in your player home or mod whatever you might be building you can use it on different containers set different keywords make up different form lists and uh, that means it's a pretty what i like to call a universal script so i'm just going to place that container in here now and then we'll go on in game and test it out make that a little larger And that's that. So we'll head in game now and see this working. Okay, so here we are in game. And if I just go over to our chest here and try to place in the formless item first of all, so the steel helmet, you can see that accepts that. If I try and place any weaponry in, that's fine. Although arrows are different, they have their own vendor item list. But as you can see, it gave me all 100 back when I place 100 in. So if I place 50 in, it gives me the 50 back. And if I try and place gold in, it gave me all of that back as well. The other thing was potions, but I don't seem to have any on this test character for some reason. But that is it. That is how that works. It's really quite simple, and uh, there's not really much more to it. Although you could probably go ahead and edit the script, set some different kind of uh, restrictions up, and uh, be pretty inventive with it. And that is it for this video, so if you found it useful, please let me know in the comments section below. And you can also suggest any other sort of scripting tutorials that you'd maybe like to see, and I'll see what I can do about that. Of course, you can find everything that you saw in this video, including the ESP, the script, and even the source for the script, on my Skyrim Nexus page, which will be linked in the description below. Along with all of my social media links as well, so you can follow me on Facebook where I do most of my posting and such. But I am available on other things like Google+, and I even post up announcements on my Steam page if you don't know about that. And of course hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.